So first of all, let's remind ourselves about the iodine test for starch. In the beaker here, we have some iodine solution, which is an orange-brown solution in there. I've got on the dish here, I've got some bread, I've got some oats, a bit of cracker, a bit of cheese. If we take a little bit of the iodine there, you see it's the orange brown colour, and pop that onto the bread. You see immediately that has gone a black colour. Put it on the oats. Same again, it's gone a black colour. We put some on the cracker. Again, that's given this black colour and onto the cheese. You'll see that's remained an orange brown colour. And that would indicate to us that the bread, the oats and the cracker all contain starch and the cheese does not contain starch. So iodine with starch goes a blue-black colour. Iodine without starch remains an orange-brown colour. Now geraniums are particularly good for this experiment. So here is a geranium in flower and these down here are the leaves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one leaf from there and we're going to test this leaf to see whether it contains starch. Now the first thing we've got to realise here is that the starch, any starch inside the leaf here, is all locked up inside the cells. We know that the cells have got a cell wall around them made of cellulose. And so if I take some iodine solution here and place it onto my leaf here, The iodine solution can't penetrate the cells in order to get to the starch if it was present and so it just rests on the surface. Also we wouldn't be able to see it because of the green colour on the leaf. So what we need to do is to make the leaf so that it has no green left in it and we also need to make the cell walls so that they can absorb the iodine solution. So our first stage is to make the leaves so that the cell wall begins to break down and we also stop all the things happening inside the leaf. Uh, things happening inside the leaf, the chemical reactions, that's called metabolism. And in order to stop the, all the metabolism working, we're going to put the leaf into some boiling water. So, and we'll just leave it in there for a few, uh, few seconds. And uh, there it is. And what is happening there is that the cellulose in the cell walls is beginning to break down. And that should allow us to get to the next stage where we want something to take the green out of the leaves. I will leave that there for a few minutes and then we'll get it back out again. Now my next stage is to get the green stuff out of the leaves. That's to extract the chlorophyll. Now to do this I need to use ethanol. Ethanol is a kind of alcohol. If we turn that around, I've got 100% alcohol there, and you'll see the familiar warning symbol on there. So I've got to be uh, got to be careful as far as my flame is concerned. So I have turned my flame off now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my leaf out of the uh, out of the water, and I'm going to place it into the ethanol 
in a boiling tube. I'm going to put my, boil, my ethanol in like that. And you'll see at the moment that the ethanol is clear. So I'm now going to use my tweezers to get the leaf out of the water. And I'm going to place that inside the test tube like so. Try and push it right down to the bottom there. I might need to add a little bit more ethanol to it than that. Make sure it's covered over. Now going back to my water up here now. My water up here is still very very hot and the ethanol is now placed inside there with the leaf inside. Now ethanol has got a boiling point of around 70 degrees. Water's boiling point is about 100. And so what should start to happen in there very, very soon is that the alcohol will start to boil even though the Bunsen is not on at the moment. So we we'll just wait for that to happen. So what you should be able to see there is that the alcohol is boiling, but the water is not boiling. You can see that's really boiling quite uh, quite strongly now. And the other thing you should be able to see is that the alcohol is no longer clear. It's going green. And what it's doing is it's dissolving the chlorophyll from the leaf. So if I was to lift this up slightly, you'd see that was quite green in there. So I'm going to leave that there for a little bit longer. I'm going to leave it until the, all the green stuff has left the leaf and that the leaf itself is white. So this has been boiling in here for about five minutes. So let's uh, get a test tube holder and lift that up. You can see it's still boiling in there. You should be able to see that the leaf has gone quite white and the alcohol has gone yellow. So what I shall do now is I shall get rid of the, uh, I shall get rid of the alcohol and uh, then remove the leaf. And my next stage will be to put the leaf back into the boiling water. Um, it's going to go in there because at the moment the leaf is very, very brittle. And I want to be able to, I want to be able to make it softer. So as you can see, the uh, leaf now has lost all its green colour and is now just a very, very, very pale green, mostly white colour. I've now warmed up my water again here, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop. The leaf into the boiling water, into the hot water again, uh, and that's in order to soften the uh, the leaf off, because it was previously very quite rigid uh, in there and wouldn't spread out properly onto uh, onto the dish there. So that's now into boiling water, just to soften the leaf, and we'll just uh, leave that for a moment or so, and then. Turn that off. Bubble down a bit. And now we'll remove the leaf from there. You can see now it's gone quite floppy. And then we're putting that down onto the dish there. And then we should be able to spread it out onto the, uh, onto the surface like that. Okay, so having done that, we're now ready to put the uh, to put the iodine solution on. So just get a little bit with the tea pipette there. Remember, we're we're testing it now for starch, 
and if it goes a dark color then we've got starch present and you can see there that that has indeed gone um, the dark color although it's got some areas around the edge here which haven't and uh, you might have noticed when I first started off that uh, there were the part parts of it were slightly different colors so I'm just going to move that move that slightly this way hold it hold it up out of the out of the thing there try and get the the light onto it properly there and you can see we've got a black color similar to that that we got with the oats and the bread and so on at the beginning so there we have tested a leaf for starch and found that that leaf contains starch <clears throat> except for these small areas here here and just round here so what I've tried to do then is I've taken the uh, the leaf um, here Using my tweezers, I've just pulled off a tiny little bit of the of the leaf from here, and then I've placed that onto a microscope slide here, and then I've just spent uh, a little bit of time uh, just breaking that up um, using the using the tweezers just uh, in in a droplet of water, and what I'm trying to do there is I'm trying to break it up into individual cells. And what I'm hoping to be able to do then is to show you what those individual cells look like and uh, where the uh, where the iodine has stained the starch inside the cells. So I've uh, done quite a bit of breaking them up, breaking up into uh, into little bits then, and I can see lots of little tiny circles inside there. So I shall pop inside in a moment and get. Uh, Get my microscope out. I'll put a cover slip on top of the um, on top of here, and uh, hopefully then I'll be able to see the cells, take a photograph of them, and uh, add them to the video. So here we've got some of the cells under the microscope. I've got them under a magnification of uh, times four hundred here. If I just uh, adjust the focus slightly, you should be able to see that the dark colour is actually in tiny little dots within the cells. And those are called starch grains. And they're inside the cell wall in the cytoplasm and it's where the starch is stored. The iodine doesn't show up the nucleus or any other part of the cell, just shows the starch grains there.